Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Professor Najanan Kere back another with another video. Today we'll be looking at ICT IGCSE theory revision presentation, the effects of using IT. This is chapter five. Alright, so under this what we'll be looking today are effects of IT on employment, then effects of IT on working patterns, microprocessor control devices in the home, and potential health problems. And now I know if you have the latest ICT book, you, you we don't have 5.1 or 5.2. It directly starts from microprocessor control devices and then the health problems. But I intentionally added it so you have extra information about it in case any question comes on based on that. All right, let's begin. Uh, effects of IT on employment. Basically, IT has led to unemployment in many, many areas like manufacturing, Robots have taken uh, over many tasks and are much faster. Like let's say for manufacturing cars, robots work 24 hours without breaks. Whereas if we were to rely on humans, they will have to pay them wages. We will have to, um, they will probably waste time in, uh, for, in breaks and they will not even work for 24 hours. So I mean, yes, robots are better and yeah. Um, computer controlled warehouses automatic does not need people. I mean, yeah, labor intensive work, print and industry and filing. Okay, new jobs have been created in ICT, writing software for those robots to work, maintenance of those robots, internet related jobs, etc. Now, let's look at the effects on people as well. People need to be retrained due to new technology, cleaner, cleaner working environment, and de scaling of workforce all right computers can now do tasks that are required high skill level uh, we need safer working environment and fewer manual tasks such as heavy lifting okay yeah effects on companies now the companies can now employ less people and yeah robots do not take holidays get sick or need breaks i talked about this in the first one greater consistency in products made yeah i mean that is true self-explanatory let's move on effects of it on working patterns so we have four main part-time flexible job sharing and compressed hours all right let's look at the first one a, a contract where someone works fewer hours per week than a full-time employee in shifts so then workers can choose their working time but will have to complete the day's work this is also called flexi time job sharing two or more part-time workers divide their job replacing one full-time worker Hmm, that's nice. Compressed hours. Employees can work longer hours per day, but over fewer days, completing the workload sooner. Oh, so that means they get more holidays. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Microprocessor control devices in the home. Let's look at the positive effects and then the negative effects. Positive are they lead to more leisure time since devices can be programmed to do tasks. They have more time to socialize. They become very sophisticated and we can use and can make use of embedded web technology. They save energy, switch off automatically, and easier to program device rather than set timings and dates manually. Negative effects, on the other hand, are unhealthy diets. People will become lazy and rely on these devices. Dependency on technology as, as it increases. More wasteful society since devices thrown away if they fail, not economic to repair. Leaving on standby waste, waste resources. Potential health problems. Majorly, we have RSI, repetitive strain injury. We have back problems and eye problems. Let's look at them. RSI, this is when joints such as the shoulders, wrists, or fingers work uh, causing pain. Okay. Damage gets worse if left untreated and can lead to hand or arm immobility. Meaning, yeah, somehow like paralysis, but not that, not that deep. Yeah. The causes um, typing for extended periods of time, too long typing too long without taking uh, breaks, incorrect posture, rapidly click clicking of the mouse, holding your mouth incorrectly, walking in a cramped space. How can you prevent it? Take periodic breaks. Take, like study for if you're studying as a student, study for thirty minutes, take five minutes break, and come back again. That's the best way. Okay. Use ergonomic keyboard and mouse. Use a wrist rest. Ensure sufficient space for comfortable work. And you can also try and get a gaming chair, which is pretty useful if you have back problems. Yeah, we'll come look at that. Headaches are a potential sequence 
yeah, yeah. Causes not sitting upright while working, sitting with poor posture, working in a calm space, incorrect uh, computer screen positioning. All right. Take periodic breaks. Yes. Use adjustable chairs with good back support. Gaming chair test, guys. Sit upright with good posture. Keep feet flat on floor. All right. And try and get your device, let's say your laptop, to eye level. Make sure you don't have to look down or look up every time you're working. Eye problem. Headaches are a potential consequence. Causes and prevention. Causes are staring at a computer for extended periods of time, working with poor room lightning, computer screen glare or flicker, dirt can cause eye strain. Indeed, prevention, take periodic breaks, use TFT rather than CRT, there are types of screen by the way, I'll make a new video on it, don't worry. Use anti-glare screens, ensure good room lightning, no direct light on screen and clean the dirt occasionally. Alright, that should be it, make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you understood it, yeah, you have to subscribe, bro, come on. It takes really good, like, it takes efforts to make it, okay? Okay, all right, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to do any particular chapter, you want the content to come quickly, just let me know in the comments. And you guys should just comment, you know, that makes me feel good. All right, till then, ta